Simon here and we're up at Coronet Peak in Queenstown. Look at that view. There isn't too much to get excited about here in Queenstown in terms of skiing and snowboarding at the moment. The snow is pretty bleak. Uh, however, we are here at Coronet Peak tonight to have our second go at night skiing. I've done it once before, Hakuba Valley in Japan, and I was left a little bit underwhelmed. They only have one run open at Hapa One. Here at Coronet Peak, it seems like most of the mountain will be open. So let's go and have some fun, get out on snow and see what night skiing in Queenstown has to offer. Peak. They start night skiing at 4 o'clock and it runs until 9 p.m. You can come night skiing at Coronet Peak on Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. They always have something going on, some kind of live music. Last night there was a massive party here for the Friday night. So tonight it's really quiet which is actually quite nice. Uh, in terms of this in comparison to Hakuba, oh my god, so much more terrain available. The snow has been groomed before we got out here. Really enjoying it so far. What's really nice about night skiing here at Coronet is you can actually go all the way to the summit on the Coronet Express, which means you're not restricted to one little area. In fact, I think all of the lifts are running here, apart from the Green Gates Express, which is right over on skier's right-hand side. But that means you have access to green runs, to blue runs, to red runs, and black runs here at night skiing. Uh, which makes for a much more enjoyable experience. So that is it for night skiing here at Coronet Peak and what an experience, highly recommend it. It's included on the NZ Ski Pass which covers Coronet Peak, Remarks and Mount Hutt. We made a video about that, you can check that out just here. But if you don't have that, I'll make sure to link to the price on screen right now. If you are here in winter, night skiing is an experience that's definitely worth taking in. Skiing here, as opposed to my previous night skiing experience, has been much better. There's more open terrain, the grooming has been better, and actually, we took a couple of laps today before night skiing opened, and the conditions weren't great. After the grooming, if you get out between five, six, seven, you are gonna get some really, really good conditions to ski here. Anyway, if you're in Queenstown, check this out. Make sure that if you've got any questions, you drop them below in the comments. If you like what we do, please hit the thumb and share with other people. And make sure to subscribe because we're gonna bring you a new video next week. And thank you very much for watching.